What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Tiger Tran, back at you with part two of Ballroom. And we know what we need to do. Ooh, and a message just popped up. Jax is your is your pet. He lowly awaits you, your every command. When you select your pet's ability to... When you select a pet ability for him to use, he will use that selected ability during his next turn if all requirements are met for the given ability. To select Jax, left click on him or use you. Okay. To access the command menus, right click on Jax or click on the pet button on the lower right of the screen. Okay. Okay, so you assist, self protect. I don't think that'll be an issue. What kind of inventory does a dog have? Oh no, this looks like it's my inventory. I'm wondering if we could equip some uh, equip some things on him. So it looks like the game is actually running, even though I'm just looking at stuff. So the question is, is there a pause function? Because I I do know you get really thirsty and hungry in this game, and it can happen really quickly. Let's check these chests. Usually there are old letters or documents inside these white bags. But there are none. Ooh. Cool. I wonder, is this stealing? I mean, this is family. I don't think it is. So we got some simple torches. To me, 23 simple torches? I don't know. A large serpent is carved into most of these. One strange thaller. Sure. I don't know what that is, but we'll take it. Oh, so here looks like we can uh, equip some arrows to us. I don't know if I will use a bow. I mean, as you saw, my dexterity is absolute butt cheeks. So that might not be a thing, but we do have our phoenix ring, which is cool. Oh, here we go. And we have focus dodge. So dodge increased greatly for six turns. Pet ability. Oh, that's cool. Wolf Howl. Frightens your targets, reducing its damage for five turns. Wow. Okay. Cool down 30 turns. I wonder if that's a long time. Wolf and Rage. Increase your wolf's damage for eight turns. Okay. Pet Heal, which we knew was going to be really good. So then here's my Curse and my Fireball. My Stun, if somebody gets all up in my business. Looks like we're rocking a Dagger right now. Short Sword. Wow, this does as much damage as a fireball would do, but I guess fireball is range. Maybe they will burst into flames. Which is kind of surprising. You'd think that uh, a fireball would do substantially more damage than a single a single attack speed potion. Okay, all right, you didn't loot it. Still trying to figure out this looting system. Did you actually get it? Are you trolling me, bruh? You trolling me, bruh? Okay, so it does subdivide everything. Increase your walk speed. So Barnabas uses the wisp in a bottle. Uses these bottles for experiments. He told me that the energy can bring certain plants to life. Hmm. If I were to open the bottle near a wisp, its energy or its energy would capture it. Oh, that's cool. I was almost wondering, can you drag an ability or any kind of item? That's actually that's what I was attempting to do because I was wondering. There are no wisps nearby. I was trying to get this in here because I feel like right-click to use. Oh, cool! There we go. Cure disease plants. Oh, here's healing potions. Oh, it looks like we started with healing potions just innately. Probably one to pick pick them up then. But it's all good. We got some simple bottles. I don't know if speed potions will necessarily be needed. I feel like they might be potentially used in combat. Oh, we already have a shovel. That's good. I think that's for hoe. Cool. 
I wonder if we need to put these on our bar if they'll, oh yeah, automatically be used. Automatically used. Automatically used. Cool. Well, that's good. I'm glad that they do that. Sometimes it's going to be really annoying if you have to hot swap between a thousand different things. Oh, animal taming traps. I wonder if you could have multiple pets. A simple trap. I feel like that might just do damage. Cool. Splint. Okay. We won't need to do a hotkey that right now. Let's check out the books. Oh, and looks like there's food as well. Man, this game, so intense. I love it. Oh, okay. So we got food, we got rest, empty honey jar, which I'm sure assuming we can fill something up. Oh, there's my bed. Hit me up with some books. I'm a mage. Oh, shit. Ooh, money. Okay. That's awesome. Nope, I don't need to talk to Gramps. Who's this guy? I just want to get all the loot possible first. So let's take a look in this barrel first. Corn seeds, noise. Melon seeds, noise. So that's... I, I don't know how long things will take to grow. Oh, looks like the dude's actually chilling in here. Oh, oven. What recipes do we have? No recipes learned yet. Okay, cool. So that's for the future. Oh, we already have we have food. Moisture bad. Our fertility bad. Oh, they're grown though. Almost grown. Alright, so let's take this melon. Harvest. Harvest. Cool. Almost grown. Grown corn. Alright. I wonder if you actually have to have water. Seems like you do. The question is, where is water? Is there a well? I see a bathroom. Who's this? Grandpa Edmund. Alright, let's chat with Edmund. Oh my gosh. Edmund's got that stack HP. Edmund was a fisherman before Darkwood. He and Winnie celebrate their 15th anniversary a few months ago. They almost live or they always lived a modest life, but here in the woods they have to do without even the essential things. When I can, I try to help them. Oh yeah, because he's the dude who I get the the meat for. Here, I'm back for the from the hunt. Here are two pieces of meat that I promised to bring. Thank you, my boy. I don't know what we would do without you. Thank the gods for this. Thank the gods for this long life they gave us. Together, we're almost 180 years old. Whoa, you know. Each day, you grow stronger. We saw you growing up. Your grandfather raised you to be a decent, honest man. What do you owe you, my boy? Don't be silly. You owe me nothing. Here's the meat. Salted well. Yeah, I don't need to get payment to help out some 90-year-olds. Thank you, son. The meat looks really delicious. We'll make a good goulash tomorrow. Take care. Do you need help with anything? I'm glad you asked. You know what little we have. We have because of our bees. We sell their honey they make. Yes, I know. Well, all the bees are dead. Whoa, some disease have killed them. Can you bring me a few bees so we can start a new colony? Sure, why not? Cool. All right, another quest. Let us continue on our journey. It looks like there's wood just chilling over here, so I'm wondering if I can pick this up. It does look like I can. Three logs. Nothing there. Requirement to use, level three. Extra buff. I, wonder if I, should, I think I, I feel like I should still be picking up stuff, even if I can't necessarily use it now. Removes some weakening effects and restores health. Oh, cool. Dang, dude, the loot is real in this game. I feel like my wife would love this game as well. She was really big into Boulder's Gate as well. We used to play it a ton. I'm starving. Dang, boy! All right, let's eat, eat a predisturbed bread then. I feel like that's the best thing to eat. Nom, 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 nom. Okay. 10% thirst from eating a mushroom. Okay. I wonder where water is. What is this? This must be like a hidden... Uh... Oh. Oh, that's cool. Transformation into larva potion. Why would you want this? I mean... Obviously, it's sellable, which is dope, but why would you want to tra transform into a larva? All right, well, let's 
I want... Do you, do you get experience? Gold ore? Whoa. I was wondering if this game... Uh, I'm extremely dehydrated. Dang, boy. So that gives rested. Does a melon? I feel like a melon would restore thirst, which it does. Oh. Wait, don't I have a bottle of water somewhere? Could have swore I saw like a, a skin at some point. Let's like look through here really quick, just so. Cool. Okay. Quest. Grandpa's lucky trinket. Oh yeah, he said this would take us to the safe. Oh no, that's the safe place room there. Grandpa told me that this trinket helped him out countless times. Aid you. Sometimes it does something to you. Do I equip this? Can I equip this? Whoa. Frozen. I'm stuck. Wait, what? Oh, is that its cooldown? I'm extremely dehydrated. Brah! You killing me, Smalls? All right, let's eat. eat a melon. Where is my actual meter, though? That's what I'm looking for. How do you know what your hunger is? Is it in your, maybe in C? Learning points, five. Okay, here we go. So it looks like my dehydration and fed is just going down. There has to be a pause function. Oh my gosh. Is it going in here? Oh yeah, it does look like it pauses it, but there's no legit just pause button. It's only... And you can't even look at anything in this menu. So it's almost kind of like real life. If you were to organize your inventory or look at the things you have, you wouldn't it wouldn't allow you to. Here, let's go ahead and save. Since we are here and it is new. Were we able, ever able to name our character? I don't know. Cool. So I know we needed some wood. It said that we need to chop it. I wondered if, if I could kill Bambi. <laughs> kill Bambi. How much health? 100 health? I feel like I could just hit it with a fireball, right? Whoa. How does combat work? All right, this will be... Oh, okay. All right. Why well, can't? Too far away. Oh, there it is. But it says red. It says that he's in range. Uh, bruh. Bruh. Kill me, bruh. Is this... It says long range, right? So, left click to pick up an ability icon. Right click to select the ability. All right, so that's what I did. Right click. We are trying to shoot you with fireball. Oh, okay. There we go. Did it cook my meat as well? Baked deer. Oh, it did. He's baked. Cool. That makes sense. I still wish that I could find something that says a quicker way of looking at my hunger. Am I blind, guys? Hmm. Spells and attributes. Okay. So we know this turn-based combat. This just tells everything that I have. Cool. Okay. My pet has 900 health. It's a little bit weaker than me. Over the years, I've become familiar with the wildlife. Frogs, rats, and some of the large larvae. They are not aggressive, but every other animal will try to eat me. Lulz. Brown told me to pick up every plant I see so I can experiment with them at the alchemy table. There are a number of berry bushes that grow here. Some of the berries have powerful medicinal effects. Oh, cool. All right. I'm assuming this mushroom might be part of it. All right. We're going to attempt to hit this fool with the fireball as well. Bleh. Too far away. I don't get it. It says that he's not too far away. Oh. Oh, is he on the run from me? It does look like he, that is the case. Can we hit him with a fireball? Okay. Never mind. Can we curse you? Can 
Can we fireball you? No. I wish I knew long. I, I wish it would give a, a circle around the guy to tell you what does what does that actually mean. You know what I mean? Let's just keep chopping. I think I'm getting, uh, my vision is getting hit because of it. Oh my gosh, it's a bear, dude. How much health do you have? oof -da, a lot. I, I feel like at this point in the game, a bear would be able to maul my face pretty hardcore. The question is, there has to be... There has to be, like, a well that you can easily get water from. If not, that would be brutal. Oh, this is where we need to take the bees. I wonder how you capture bees, though. Do you need, like, a net or something? No, bruh. Go this way. What's in the porta potty? So, did he go pee? Interesting. I'm still taking damage. Okay. Character. So, we are dehydrated and we're hungry. I wonder if rested is... Rested... It looks like it maybe goes up. We might need to sleep at some point. But before that, let us look at... So apples are good. Oh, look at this. Modify spell hit chance. That's good to know. Eat that melon. Salt. Never forget to use some salt. Baked deer. I feel like this will spoil. I don't know if this game does have spoiling. Wait, is that what that red bar is? Would corn spoil? No. Ripe tomato. Or potato doesn't spoil. Interesting. Cool. So now we... Oh, here we go. Can hold water enough for a day. Oh, you can actually go above. That's so dope. Cool. How much above can you go? 130%? Because it says that you'll actually start to heal if you're above. Belly full. Cool. Nice. Slowly, health is slowly... Okay, but where's the well? I want to find that. Because I would love to be able to just consistently heal or keep myself... Oh, there we go. Perfect. So the question is, do you just click it and it fills up your water sack? Yeah! Dope. Alright, so now this is where we're going to test the theory. Yep, 150%. Okay, good. It's good to know. And let, let's just make sure it's completely full. It is. Awesome! Okay, cool feel a lot better. I don't think that's my farm. Dragonfly? Random. Or that's where. No. There you go. See, it's so weird, right? So I guess you don't interact unless you're physically next to it. So that's something good to know, right? Move next to it, then click. Don't actually just hold it because the game doesn't seem like it's smart enough to do that. Okay, cool. Did it say that it was at the level of, uh... Oh, okay. So it gets giving me seeds. Restores house. This restores wow, hell, our... Alright. Let's, uh, let's use the safety plate, or the safe place right now. Because I, I like to know what's here. To access the building panel plus B. Build. Oh, cool. So there's different tiles that you can use to build your actual house. And we have five stone. How much wood do we have? Eight. Let's, uh, let's, first of all, let's check what's in these because this might have a lot of resources for us to build a starter house. Here you'll be safe. Oh, thank you. I'm guessing it was from my parents, right? So we got glass. We've got. Uh, oh my gosh, a ton of lumber. Let's go. Pine wood. I wonder pine, is that better? It is better. It looks like you can modify your armor even. Make some wood armor, like a boss. Oh, cool. Door handles. We needed these to uh, to fix Grandpa's house. So we won't have to necessarily buy them from Aaron. Oh, a ton of nails. Let's go. ton of stone. Okay. So we got some herb action here. 
The question is, I and what I'm wondering is, can we? Oh, look at this. There's actually a body of water. Can we drink from here? Oh, we can. How do you know if this water is clean or not? Oh, there's a wisp. We have the bottle. Let's go uh, trap this fool. I, I wonder if this is a. Oh my gosh, level 10. All right, we're not. I, I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm only level one. I don't know if uh, wisp. Ah, let's test it actually. What was the save? I think the quick save was yes. Let's see if I can just go and grab this guy. Maybe he just won't give me a bully beatdown. He might, though. Maybe his friends will. Ooh, wrong click. I've extracted extracted some energy from the wisp. Oh, I wonder if that just gives me mana, then. Hmm. All right, well, here's a source of water. I just don't know if it's clean or not. Because I wonder if you can get dysentery and die of diarrhea or something like that. All right. I think the reason that popped in my head is... Oh, okay. Didn't say anything in the little tool tips over here, but I'm assuming, yeah, I drank. It seems like that water wouldn't be poisoned. It might be. I hope not, though. All right, so this looks like storage here. I think what I'll do is it, it teleported me in here. I wonder if that's considered the central point. I like the fact that I have a source of clean water. So what I think I'll do is uh, I'll build my house here. Nothing spectacular, just a place to put my bed chill out for a minute uh, because I'd like to build my my actual farms here as well so this is tiles right so all right so this looks like floors let's do uh let's just do a simple place right now yay I'm a carpenter I wonder if you're XPing for this I, I don't think so but I always love games like that where you do get XP for doing a lot of different things. I like windows, so we'll, uh, wait, what? Look at this. You'd think that it would snap. This is so weird. How do you make it so the walls would actually be flush against? Hmm. Guess not. Thin walls, so we got furniture, we got miscellaneous. So this is just a trough. I wonder what that does. So there's no tooltips? It's not telling me what these things actually are. This looks like little piles. This looks like something you like little barrels you could maybe put goods in. So we got decorations, crafting tables. Okay, specials, fences, doors. Oh wow, you can plant trees. Foliage. Well, we definitely know we'll need a door. Well, I guess we'll just have a... Maybe this will just be a line, right? So maybe it just kind of hangs out a little bit. I'm not going to cry about it, but it's an interesting mechanic, I guess. Glad we expanded the base and made it a little bit bigger. So that way we can start to fit some of these other buildings in here. I, I would love to get a bed down. Can we build this already? Yeah, we can. But I remember it. Dang. Okay. So we're going to just go a real little house at the beginning. So then we needed some windows like this. What? Do you see how like, it just jumped randomly? Not a big deal. So the question is, is it R to rotate? Nope. R is rest in peace. So I don't know any cooking. I do know some alchemy. Cool. I can make minor mana potions. Okay. So it says I don't have... Do you need... F Wait, so it requires one bottle and I have ten, right? So it requires four mushrooms and I have one. Ah, uh, okay. I see how it does that. Ooh, a cloth robe. What does this do for an armor class perspective? Modifies armor by four. Interesting. What would be the benefit of having this over a shirt? Maybe it can be enchanted. Oh, you can make nails. I can make a shovel. That's cool. Simple arrows you could make. Okay. Oh, you can make oil out of the corn. Fascinating. Empty oil glass. A tea. Dough. What does this cost? Cost flour. Okay. Interesting. Cool.
Alright. Oh, yeah, I keep getting struck by lightning. I wonder if that's because I'm a mage. What would happen if I sleep in here? Till day. So let's sleep till morning. <sighs> Character. Rested. Okay, so he's well rested. He's not. He needs food. Okay, not a big deal. To be expected. Let's go drink. I wonder when... It might just say well hydrated in the top corner, right? So this looks like it's less effective than drinking from a well. Cool. Fully hydrated. Hey, you're not fully hydrated. You can drink for another one. Take another sip. Close enough. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's finish. It doesn't even look like you need to necessarily finish your house. Maybe for aesthetic sake, but... I, what I really want to do is start planting food. Because I would love to have a steady supply of food. But the question is, how do you actually do that? So this is just storage. It looks like you can have a table. Okay, so here's legit crafting. So this looks like a butter churn. Funky with this later, because I don't know necessarily what skills I have. A mannequin. Oh, okay, so that's where it tells you the name of it. Is uh, down here. Okay, well. It did at least for the mannequin. The for here, it doesn't. Interesting. I'm assuming this is just a cooking pot. Wow, this game has a lot of depth. Because we're already 26 minutes in. And we just have just looked at the village. Thankfully, we've got a lot of supplies. I think it's enough to fix Grandpa's house. So with that, I think that'll probably be the next video. Is us going and fixing Grandpa's house. Uh, man, this game is so in-depth. I'm excited once I get the bearings of the game down. Because we'll be able to move a little bit quicker. But it's crazy that we've already almost been playing it for an hour. And we're just finally out of the, the noobish area. And I should actually pause it. Because you get hungry and thirsty in this game at the speed of light. But... Man, I hope you guys have enjoyed the game. I, I've enjoyed kind of the learning process and trying to figure it out. Uh, it's, it's, it's really cool. So this has been Tiger Tran, and I'll see you guys next time.